And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Another YouTube quick guide. Again, everything you see is pre-alpha. It's a backers demo, so it's subject to change. And I was asked to do uh, the U-boat overview. So I thought what I would do, just to make it slightly different, is do it first-person perspective. So as you could just see, we are in the basically the bow of the boat in the torpedo room here and then we'll walk through the boat and we'll go through what it is that is at each station if I can remember what it is so torpedo launchers front torpedo launchers you can left click to interact with the storage and if these are empty you drag and drop your torpedoes into the torpedo room or, or the torpedo tube that's the good start isn't it we will move on in here is a tiny little storage cupboard where you can turn off the power to the conning tower power to the control room power torpedo room and the battery this is the cabinet this is where for instance you can pick up a nice little helmet pick up the dive suit drink or breathing apparatus or whatever whatever the item of storage is that you have bunk beds where you can get some crew rest play cards with the crew this increases morale of the crew so very useful listening room basically sonar station not implemented yet has to be operated by the radio man as you can see there radio room send and receive messages um, the listening room can actually only be um, occupied by the radio operator when the boat is underwater skipper's desk basically the ship's log as it shows there and the skipper's bunk where he can get some sleep coming through into the main operation of the u-boat the middle of the u-boat navigation station tends to be operated by the second in command and stops the boat getting lost at sea is one of a better word you will tend to uh, get lost if you don't observation periscope speaks for itself you can man the observation periscope have a look around depth steering station improves depths of the keel there's also here that's not appearing that's the valves where you the boat you can basically submerge the boat from the valves but for some unknown reason that's not appearing that's the ladder up to the conning tower we will go back up to there in a moment echo sounder ping you can ping shallow or ping deep depending on what it is that you need to do water pump depending on if you've got the bilges filling or not or realistic bilges if some plonker leaves the, the uh, hatch open and it starts to rain your bilges start to fill up and may start to overflow you will then need to pump them out this runs from the center of the boat outwards so if the if you have water at the, the bow or the stern of the boat you can tell you and command your men to put it in buckets and bring it in the middle it just makes it more efficient light switch you can left click and switch between the lights different lights I do believe the red light is for night time blue light is for silent running and white light is for normal gyro, gyro compass I have absolutely no idea what that does but I can tell you it is always on feel free to comment down below just how silly I am for not understanding what that is I will take the full brunt of that no problems whatsoever again you can close the hatch there's nothing here open hatches these are crew bunks for want of a better word a table into the galley storage room keeps the storage for the boat very useful maximum 4,000 kilograms the galley where the cook uh, uh, prepares the food and all those kind of good things in life I actually thought there was another uh, uh, little little hatch there or battery room perhaps I'm missing that 
ventilation system very important if you are submerged under the boat um, make sure to watch the one video I'm preparing make sure the ventilation system has the potassium uh, filters in if you're underwater for long enough time and your oxygen starts to deplete turn on the ventilation and it'll give you a nice quick oxygen boost but the potassium that goes inside those you need to research again see the video on research diesel engines exactly what they are the diesel engines man those if you put the engineer on those and assign crew it opens up additional cogs for the boat itself once you submerge the boat they come to the electrical engines and they will automatically transition from between one and the other workshop how the workshop works is let me see if I can run back to the storage room and show you the workshop is used by the engineer and what he does is he converts this scrap metal engineers can salvage spare parts in a ratio of two to one to basically produce replacement parts so that workshop providing the engineers on it or the mechanic or the machinist whatever you want to call him providing you have scrap metal in stock then he will come here and start making the spare parts so that's very useful to know diesel compressors again when you submerge and uh, resurface the boat you use the compressed air within your tanks you need to replace that compressed air you can either use the diesel compressor or the electric compressor and that there is the rear torpedo boat bear in mind you turn these on they're quite loud the electric one not so much but yeah and also here I think there was here as well and I'm not quite sure perhaps you need the radio operator I'm sure depending when you get boat upgrades additional places become available within the boat so here becomes a like a, a decoy launcher and then up here in the center of the boat I believe it is and it's around about here you'll get the snorkel available as well so let's leave the position so we can take control of him back to the center of the boat up on the ladder if the boat is submerged here is the attack periscope so if you're at a periscope depth and you're, you're targeting that is very useful to have and to get to can we get up the ladder we can over to the targeting site basically exactly the same as the attack periscope but when you're on the surface spotlight very very useful it lights up the front of the boat and it is it, it really is good MGC 30 is the machine gun good for anti-air really as you upgrade your conning towers you may get more anti-air boats and then the good old 8.8 .8 for use for shooting um, if you're using this you're either in trouble or very brave to be honest use it against freighters that don't have any way of shooting back is the safe safe way of doing things and that is a pretty much walk through first person perspective for the u-boat itself hope you enjoyed that best of luck in the seas and i'll see you in the next video take care now bye